Shalom. All praise to the Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to you, brethren. Hope for elect pushing his word and truth and sincerity. All right, uh, this video here is a response to uh, a brother from the Virgin Islands. To this video he did called Jacob is the former of all things. And uh, it's a very beautiful brother. He makes very edifying lessons. So uh, this is uh, one his uh, backup page here, Virgin Islands Straight Gate Two. So if you can go and subscribe to him, and definitely, definitely be edified. But uh, <laughs> but I wanna I mention the uh, one part in his lesson where uh, he was saying that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is the form of all things, and uh, <laughs> it was like it was a slip of the tongue, but it really wasn't. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was really the spirit that made him say that. Let me see. I want to get that scripture where he was at. It is uh, Jeremiah 51 and 19. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord Yahweh Hashem Shai of hosts is his name. Okay. And, and that's why I say it was a slip of the tongue, but it wasn't a slip of the tongue because we know that the uh, Yahweh, the Most High, he, you know, he, he, he designed everything. And then Yahweh Shai and the Allah Hayim, they, they put everything into play. You know, they, they did the form and they did the creating. And so literally everything that you see um, in space, as far as the sun, the moon, the stars, everything that you see in the earth is all literally formed through the Allah you know, formed through the powers, through the spirits. So, so literally Jacob is the former of all things. All right. But, um, but that's, I, I want to add on to this because, uh, <laughs> we're also going to be the Lord's battle axe too. You see, all right, this is uh Jeremiah 51 and verse 20. So, check this out. It says, uh, matter of fact, I'll just read 19 again. Uh, the portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name, Yahweh. Okay, thou art my battle axe, so like, thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. So Israel is also the Lord's battle axe and weapons of war. Right, Israel will be, <laughs> get it in. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. You gotta remember, because we're gonna be, uh, Israel will be raised up above the other nations once again when Yahushai comes back and takes that throne. Okay? Yeah, it'll be Yahushai. Um, King David, then the 144,000, then the elect, then the rest of Israel, okay? Uh, and with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider, and with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. With thee also will I break in pieces man and woman, and with thee will I break in pieces old and young, and with thee will I break in pieces the young man and the maid. All right, <laughs> ain't nobody gonna be exempt. Everybody is gonna get it, <laughs> okay? Because it's gonna be the spirit of the Lord, the, the that He's gonna put on His people to do it. You know, from the old man to the young man to the old woman to the old women, even the children, the young, you know, the maid, whatever. Everybody's gonna get it. Uh, I will also break in pieces with thee, the shepherd and his flock. And with thee will I break in pieces the husbandman and his yoke of oxen. And with thee will I break in pieces captains and rulers. And I will render unto Babylon and all the inhabitants of Chaldea all their evil that they have done in Zion in your sight, saith Lord. Okay? See? <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be a time where he gonna uh 
you know, give you know, let give certain certain in these spiritual powers and to go and literally break these nations, break them down. <clears throat> because the spirit of the Lord has to get he's he's gonna use Israel to get get his vengeance. Yahweh Shai and Israel. Let's see. I got one more I want to get. I think it's in the 25th chapter. Yep. Uh, this is Ezekiel chapter 25, verse 12. It says, Thus saith the Lord Power, thus saith Yahweh. Because that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and have dealt so like and hath greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Remember, Esau said the days of my father in hand. And afterwards I will slay Jacob. <laughs> and he's had literally had that perpetual, that never ending hatred for us ever since then. Which that's a spiritual thing, you know, going back to even the garden. All right. You put enemy between the serpent uh, seed and the, and the woman's seed. Okay. Therefore, thus saith the Lord power. I will also stretch out mine hand upon Edom and I will cut off man and beast from it. And I will make it desolate from Teman and they of the Dan shall fall by the sword. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. And they shall do in Edom according to mine anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord power. Saith you have. Okay? So, Jacob is the former of all things, including the Lord's rock battle axe and weapons of war. So, literally, the form of everything. Matter of fact, got got one. Let's get that word all. Just just to get the etymology of it. Alright, this is the etymology of the word all. Cause it says Jacob is the former. For he is the form of all things. Let's see what the etymology of the word says. From Old English, L, it says every. So Jacob is the form of everything, entire, the whole quantity of. So Jacob is the, the, the form of the entire creation, the whole quantity of it, of the creation, fully, wholly, entirely, meaning Jacob is literally the former of all, all full holy entire everything <laughs> ain't nothing <laughs> nothing in this earth nothing in this earth or in this creation you know that that jacob didn't form okay <laughs> but uh it was just a quick quick response to uh to that brother so uh hope y'all were edified on that shalom <laughs>